You had that deal with Joe DeBoss. We engaged as necessary. Mr. Maranzano would like it to continue. Perhaps one day our paths will cross. That day's today. I beg your pardon. Mr. Maranzano is ready to do business and offer his protection. Against what? Whatever problems might come. Yeah, I was in uh, a little room in my old apartment on 17th Street, and I remember getting the call, and, and uh, it was just wow. It was a wow moment. And then I had all this energy and excitement to begin. And I was like, all right, when does it start? And like in six months. And I was like, oh. And then that's when I just became a bookworm and was watching every documentary, reading every biography, and uh, just went to work and trying to learn more about the time. And I propose we pool our resources, enter into a partnership. With my experience and know-how, we can build Steve has been so gracious uh, to me and all the actors that I get to see him interact with and is such a great leader. He, uh, it just as an example, it was the first episode we're shooting of the entire show. And I'm a huge Steve Buscemi fan, but I'm also getting the feel of it. I don't know the hours, I don't know a TV schedule that well. So I was just getting to know everyone and spending time with the actors and the crew. And I look over and I see Steve just in his chair, his eyes like this, just sitting there. I go, oh, interesting, okay, he wants to time himself anyway, carrying on. But by the, whatever, 12th hour, 13th hour, 16th hour of the day, I'm just fighting coffee. All right, I gotta stay, keep my energy up. I gotta get back into this. And I'm watching him just come out of his chair, like, all right, we're ready to go. And I was like, wow, that was just those little things, you know, you pick up along the way. Just conserve your energy, stay focused. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of great stuff that I learned by watching him as well as talking with him.